This is a very big deal. It'll be the first interest rate hike we've seen in four years. It's a foregone conclusion. Markets seem to be okay with what's happening right now. Does it give you some more optimism about the path ahead in the coming weeks? Yeah, I think it definitely does, right? Because markets are invariably forward-looking. And look, we've been seeing a price correction now since January, right? We've seen a lot of volatility in the markets. And, you know, even this conflict in Ukraine, you know, the S&P 500 is only down a 1% or 2% since that actually happened. Um, I think it exacerbated this move that we've seen in the stock market. But the reality of it is we've seen a price readjustment now, Dominic, for like, you know, really over two months now on what the Fed's going to do. So I think today is a non-event. Uh, with regards to the Fed is going to raise interest rates. We know that. The question really is, how aggressive is the Fed going to be? Right? Are they going to be extremely hawkish here? How many more rate hikes are we going to see this year? What's the dot plot going to look like? And then we have that $900 trillion balance sheet that they have to unwind. So I think there's going to be some questions around that. But my guess is they're probably going to be more moderately hawkish as opposed to aggressively hawkish. So, you know, I think that's all good news because we've seen the bad news priced in for a couple months here. But more importantly, I think today is what's going to happen with retail sales? You know, what does the consumer look like? Because we know the consumer basically drives everything. So if the consumer drives everything, do we feel as though the consumer is in a strong enough spot here where it can continue yeah. to power the U.S. and arguably the global economy? And if so, why wouldn't you be going into some of those retail type stocks that have been sold off over the course of the last three or four weeks at this point? You're speaking my, long, my language here, Dominic. Absolutely. And I think this is where the economists always get it wrong. They always discount the American consumer. You know, you're hearing a lot about oil prices are going higher here. Commodity prices are higher. You know, Americans are going to dial back on their spending. And it's like gravity. You can never, never discount the American expender. And I think right now, if you look at the American household, it's in great shape, right? We have a $150 trillion net worth. That's the highest the American households ever had in terms of net worth. You've got wages going up. Jobs are abundant right now. And, you know, you're really getting to a point where the pandemic is endemic and there's a huge appetite for people to go out, travel, um, you know, leisure. Think about, you know, you just mentioned retail, uh, you know, going out and buying things. All of that is going to be very, very positive. And these names that are beaten down right now are probably a very, very good bet because I believe here as the weather gets warmer in the northern hemisphere, uh, you're going to see a lot of consumer demand for like literally everything, especially anything that's outdoors, service related. And that's essentially what's going to drive the economy here. And that's why I'm extremely bullish right now on the market and very optimistic on you know, what the, econ the economy's growth this year.